हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई पंकज दुमका वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स इन दी लास्ट सेशन यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पाइथन ऑन योर पी सी एंड एट द सेम टाइम आई हैव ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन टू यू दैट हाउ टू रन पाइथन ऑन क्लाउड दैट इज़ विद द हेल्प ऑफ गूगल को लैब नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग for you people that how to start jupyter notebook where to write code and what are different types of uh, cells or uh, ways in which we can work with in jupyter so once you have installed the anaconda navigator you can go to launch uh, the jupyter uh, from there on uh, also but at the same time if you write on the search bar jupyter then you will be able to see that the jupyter will be opening on one of your web browser now if you look that browser then that will look like this after you open it up opened it up so the thing is it is very much the font size is very small so either you can increase it with the help of mouse or you can do what you can permanently increase the size of this page by increasing the zoom okay now you can go to different sections now i am going to python codes this is the folder which i am having and here i have already made one uh, folder for you people that is uh, uh, for youtube so how to make a folder let me tell this to you you go to new and then uh to folder then you will be able to see this untitled folder has been created so you take this and then go to rename so now you can name this so uh again i'll be making this for youtube so let me name this as youtube so you can see that a youtube folder has been created so i'll click it on and then i am in the folder youtube so now here new again i'll be pressing this python 3 so this will open up a python 3 notebook for me it will take it will be taking some time okay done so once this is done you can see that this is your python notebook here you can change the name let me give this as first class once this is done the name of this i python notebook or simply jupyter notebook has been changed from untitled to first class now i'll be moving to file so here you will be having n number of options at the same time you can go to edit you can see how to copy cell paste cell in fact merge the cell or split the cell so in this way you can explore this one so i'll be explaining to you the most important part of this notebook which is known as cell so this is one cell of your python i python notebook that is jupyter notebook so here if i click on it so this will be showing that this is in edit mode you can see a pencil has appeared here so this is in edit mode once you press escape this comes to the command mode now as this is a notebook so you can write your text as well and code as well so codes are normally written on this code cell you can see it is right now a code cell or you can convert this code cell into a markdown cell and write the text so that will not be compiled as a code but as a text so from code to markdown you can use a shortcut keys like right now it is in edit mode press escape it will come to command mode and if you press m m for monkey then this comes to edit uh, this uh, markdown mode where you can write a text so this is my first 
class. So I have run it. So how to run this code? The running of a code is very simple. You just you let us say you are here, then you press shift and enter. So shift enter will run the code, whether it is a markdown or a code snippet. Okay, now this is one thing. But if you want to make this as a heading, then what to be done is you write hash and give a space. So this becomes your heading. At the same time, you can change the font size of this by increasing the number of hash. Once I go do this, then you can very well appreciate the fact the size is reducing. So the number of hash, in, as the number of hash increases, the size reduces. So let us do this. So this is the uh, markdown or the text portion. Now comes this portion which is called a cell. Here you will be writing your code. For example, hi. So here what you can see is I will be explaining each and everything to you from, in, from the next uh, lecture onwards. But right now there is a uh, command that is print. So it will be printing whatsoever you have there inside the parenthesis. So it is printing high. So you can see two things. First, one and this high. This is the output of this particular command. And this is telling you the instance of your run. Means how many times you have the, the, the recent value. For example, if I run this code again, so it will be giving you two. That means the you have in this particular notebook for this particular session, you have run this twice. Okay. Now, at the same time, you can also see a cell has been created. There is another way in which you can create an empty cell like this. L let me highlight this. I have highlighted this particular cell. If I press B, B for balloon, then what will happen? An, an empty cell will appear beneath this current highlighted cell. So this again, if I press A, if, if a cell is highlighted and I am pressing A, then what will happen? An empty cell will be created above that particular highlighted cell in this way. One more thing to understand about this notebook is if you want to delete some uh, cells because it may so happens that you have done something wrong or you don't want that particular portion, then you can delete the cell. So that is done either by uh, going to these uh, portions that is delete cell that is going to edit and then deleting it or what you can do is let us say I want to delete this one. So first from the edit mode move to command mode how that is done that is by pressing the escape and then now press D D for doll two times. So this has deleted once again let us practice escape then D two times. Okay. In this way, we can start working with the Jupyter Notebook. So hope that you have understood that how Jupyter Notebook has been uh, of use to us, how are different components, what are different components of this and how to use it for uh, writing code and at the same time for uh, writing text as well. So in this lecture, till this point only in the next lecture we will be starting our first class on the python so thank you very much and uh, take very good care of yourself and goodbye